In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use green screen videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and do crazy shit. For example, how to set your hand on fire. So if you want to learn that, keep watching. Welcome to a brand new video editing tutorial here on my YouTube channel Nemo TV. If this is your first time watching my videos here on my Nemo TV, I post video editing tutorials and also videos that are gonna help you to get better in editing your videos and also growing your YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button today and turn that ravishing notification button so you're notified whenever I post a new video here on my channel. As all of you might know, using the green screen technique in movie making industry has huge fans and I mean in most of the famous and like top selling movies they have been using green screen and actually made fools out of us. If you're recording your videos and you have an ugly background you can just use a green screen backdrop and put whatever you want in the background and make your videos look really awesome. So that's why I've broken down this tutorial into two parts. In the first part, which is super easy, you're gonna learn how to use the green screen backdrops on your videos, how to filter the green and use whatever you want as the background. And in part two, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the video of an object which has been recorded on a green background and take it out, filter the green and use it wherever you want and then animate it. So if you wanna learn that, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna get started by creating a project in my Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna name this green screen uh, project, let's see. Okay, and our project is ready. I'm gonna go to assembly. I wanna import the files that I'm gonna be using in this project. Let's create a sequence. I'm gonna have a 4K or let's work on HD today, 1080. 24 frames per second. I hit OK. All right, I'm gonna import the footages that I've prepared for this tutorial. I'm just gonna drop them into my project over here. So let's say this is what you have. You've been talking in front of the camera and you've recorded yourself with a green background. And you wanna have this office environment as your real like background in the final project. And I'm gonna go to effects. And then over the effects, I'm going to look for ultra key right here. I just drag this and drop it into my video. And then I go to editing, effects control, and I scroll down. And as you can see, ultra key has been added here. So from the key color, our key color is this green color. So I just choose the picker. I click here, boom, it's gone. And now it's time to kind of clean, clean it up. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to output and change composite to alpha color. You see these, we want to get rid of these like uh, noises. So I go to matte cleanup and then from contrast, I'm going to increase my contrast a little bit. And then from midpoint, I'm going to increase it and it's gone. Make sure to change my output to composite so I can see the guy. And then I go to assembly. And before doing that, I just put this one track higher so I can put my background here. And then I just drag this and put it here. I didn't care about the voice, so I just overlapped it. And then if I play it, yeah, the guy is just talking in the office now and we got rid of that green background. All right, then you can just get rid of the extras and yeah, you just export and use it. And if you wanna change where you are standing, you just, Choose the selection tool, double click here, and just put it wherever you want. Boom, you wanna resize it, you can make it smaller. Just drag it from here, make it smaller, put it here, however you want. And then just play it and the guy is talking. Boom, you got it. Part two, uh, how do we put that fire in my hands? So I'm just gonna import the video of myself talking. I just drag and drop it here. And then I just drop it on my uh, 
timeline this was recorded in 4k so i go to editing i want to downsize it in scale i just put 50 so we have it right here to do that i have a green screen video of the fire so i just drag and drop it on my uh, adobe premiere pro and then i drag and drop it on top of my video so as you can see the fire is right here i use the same technique so i go to effects and look up for ultra key again right here drag and drop it on the fire and i go to editing make sure that you've already selected the fire and i scroll down and i have the key color the picker select all right and it's time for cleaning it up i go to alpha and i go to matte cleanup again i increase the contrast a little bit and then the midpoint and this should look decent i put it on composite again i have my fire here and now it's time to resize it relocate it and animate it so whenever i'm moving my hand it's gonna move with it okay when i'm doing this i want it to show up so i started here and i go to editing effects control why i've selected the fire uh, layer and i want to animate the scale and the position both of those and then my time is like in the beginning i just put it in the right place i move it higher i make it smaller like stay here hmm. let me just play it yeah this is fine let me just uh, move it to the beginning, make it a little bit smaller and a little to the right and a little bit higher. I use the arrows left and right on my keyboard so I proceed on my time so I don't do anything here until I start moving my hand. So I move, I'm moving my hand to the right so over here receive position I'm just gonna move it to the right then I keep moving again to the right and a little bit lower then I proceed I move it right to the left I bring it left more left again to the right I move it a little bit higher and now it's time for blowing the fire and just getting rid of it so when it's gonna happen here okay I'm, I need to add the key additional keyframes right in here so I'm just gonna you see my scale is 66 so I'm just gonna type in 66 here so it's gonna add one here and my location I, I mean my position I need to have a, an exact position of the fire right here so I choose any of these I just hit uh, retype it again like two to two hit okay so it's gonna create a keyframe here and I let it be playing for like this like until I blowing it and then I just make it smaller and I put it closer to my hand smaller and closer to my hand and then I just turn it up okay so this is how it's gonna look like if I play it from the beginning now so that's it you can make tiny corrections to make it look more realistic if you want to make it perfect you can add the sound effects uh, like what i did in the beginning of this video and make it cooler yeah guys i hope that you enjoyed this video editing tutorial if you had any questions at any time make sure to let me know below in the comments so if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that ravishing like button subscribe and turn on your bell notifications if you haven't already please be safe because i want you to watch my next video as well thanks for watching be safe mokhlas